Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart. I will be going over the current trading range that I am using right now. I will go over the exact trade that I am in as we are speaking and where I'm looking to take this one. And then we're going to be going over the next few days of price action to come. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love this video on a video that I hope that you can tell. I'm actually really happy. I've got a bit of a buzz on right now. And that was funnily enough. I actually started off this day feeling a bit depressed and sorry for myself. Things are going on in real life. Obviously, I'm moving away. I feel just like I'm uh, feeling sorry for myself because I'm going to miss people. And, uh, you know, I wasn't feeling the best this morning. I decided, hey, snap out of this, go to the gym. Went to the gym and uh, somebody actually recognized me for the first time ever. For me, this was quite cool. Uh, somebody came up to me and said, hey, you're Daniel from Chart Champions. I love your content, studying it every day. And you are helping me achieve the financial freedom that I want. And I, I really, that just... Oh, it felt really, 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 really good. Uh, so I will, oh yeah, thank you if you want to watch this for making my day. Uh, honestly, it, it made me feel really happy. And uh, yeah, and, and that's what I want to bring you today. And that is what you love. It is the professional top quality technical analysis that you deserve. And so I want to give you that today. So let me give it to you. All you need to do is pay attention and uh, yeah, get ready for uh, get ready for a masterclass here on the Bitcoin chart. OK, as we look at this local range here, the exact level that we're rejecting from, I will cover the short position that I am in as well uh, towards the middle section of this video. So I just want to remind you of a few different things, obviously. Um, you know, let's let's keep this really concise. So we are in a sideways range right now on Bitcoin. Please pay attention. Listen to every word I say. We are in a sideways range on Bitcoin right now. I know you've heard a lot of people refer to this as choppy price action, uh, not tradable, better to wait for clarity, stay out of the market. I'm going to tell you today, there's no need to wait for any of those things. You can trade this price action right now in an actual consistent way. When you are adding on the technical analysis that we are using, the levels are respected to the dollar very nicely. Again, we can be walking away of high percentage win rates within this range in particular. What are some of the few levels here that we are trading off of right now? I actually refer you to a video I made back on the 10th of March, and it was a free public YouTube video. And we were obviously looking at that high volume node down towards 38,600 and this daily 39,400. So you can see here we had marked out this lower level, which was untapped at the time. This was a level that I had recognized <laughs> acting as nice support and obviously our daily. So the first thing here, you can see a few days, this was, a, you know, over a few days ago, we had these levels marked out ready and waiting for them. Well, fast forwards coming into the weekend, we can see the levels are still getting respected. I actually posted this in my group on uh, Saturday morning. You can see 8.57 a.m. Woke up, give my levels to the team. This is what I'm looking at this morning. OK, and we can see how this progressed through the day. We can see when you actually come into the chart, high volume node. This is a Saturday around 2.30. We come down and we test that level to the absolute dollar. OK, so the absolute dollar, we get the test of the level and we get the bounce. We start to get a bit of a market structure change underway. But see, if we're looking at this as the as a key level of support, we've seen a reaction off of our key level support. We've seen the order flow that we want to see. You know, you've got an actionable trade here. And again, we're after consistency. We're after these high probability trades off of our levels, which we believe are very strong. OK, we see this reaction. Of course, we're going to be looking for these trades. OK, and naturally here it gives you a long and you can see the respect here off of the high volume node. Work our way back up to the PRC of the pr pr past range, which is naturally a very nice take profit one. And, you know, just emphasizing here, you know, you've got the levels marked out. You see the support being hit. <laughs> you can uh, print the paper, so to speak. Other people printing the paper there as well. But. You know, the thing that I really want to... Oh, yeah, this was actually hilarious. Damn CC pull back it out again with the market manipulation. Obviously, market manipulation, we're referring to this. <laughs> the name's Paul, CC pool. Have a license to manipulate the market. I love. I know you all love these photos. <laughs> Obviously, I'm referring to that. I'm just basically, you know, saying, showing to you, you know, once you've got these levels marked out, it's having the patience to wait for those levels to be hit. And then you have a high probability trade. So from taking it down from that high volume node, to the dollar obviously what's the next level above us it was our daily okay and then fast forwards a little bit you can see from hitting that high volume node we actually come up wick onto the daily and what's that then given you it's given you a, a very big swing failure pattern of the top of the range onto your daily level naturally this has offered you a short position where can you be looking to take that down towards <laughs> i guess probably the high volume node again no and look what happens from that wick onto the daily you come down 
once again to your low of the high volume node for a swing failure pattern of the low naturally giving you another long trade. What happens here? We come back up to the high. You can actually see visually here, if I just make this very clear for you, you can see visually, you can see this big resistance that is coming in each time around this section of highs now. You can see this is where we're wicking on to consistently. Wick, rejection, wick, rejection. Like this in, in itself was a mini range that we were actually trading from here. Yeah, this was a mini range that you were trading before you got to the high volume node low. Okay, so overall that was its own mini range. Hope that makes sense. So you come up to the higher that mini range and back down to the lower the mini range. E.g., you, you've got a lot of trades going on within here. Okay, a lot of trades going on. On again, I just want to I refer to this because people are referring to this as choppy, untradable, boring price action. And I'm, I'm I'm here showing you it's not boring, it's not choppy, it's actually very well respected technical analysis. The levels are here to the dollar to the T. And obviously I, I made a post that day saying, uh, you know, this is given 100% win rate. Obviously, I'm referring to the past three trades. One, two, three. And some people took that the wrong way. Oh, you, you're saying you got 100% win rate. No, I'm saying I had 100% win rate, three trades out of three trades, 100% win rate. Obviously, here, uh, this guy also taking a long off of, off of the low of the uh, high volume node, off of the swing failure pattern of, of this one. Okay, I also managed to get into the long to bring it up. Of course, nobody has 100% win rate. I'm never going to say you're aiming, aiming for 100% win rate. That's not the aim of the competition. I do not claim to have 100% win rate. I did in that range, three trades, three wins. But of course, overall, <laughs> you've got to understand that I'm not on about 100% win rate in my whole career of trading. Okay, that would just be ridiculous. But, um, you know, we are still walking away with nice win rates here off of the technical analysis that we have onto us or offered to us. OK, and that then brings us on to like what we are looking at here. What what levels are we rejecting from? What trade am I in right now? And I will just say, by the way, FYI, from the market manipulation, of course, <laughs> this is just a quick reminder. We are still the number one volume team in the whole of Bybit. So we do have a lot of power and a lot of volume behind us. So these levels that we're giving, when they are respected to the absolute dollar like that, you just have to remember, we actually, to be fair, are totally wells in this market we actually can have these levels defended with billions of volume behind it like that that's that's what's crazy and i do have that in life meeting with bybit still later this week excuse me that that meeting with bybit is is towards the end of this week as long as my passport arrives in time i'll be going out to meet with bybit so that's really exciting i am looking forward to that but uh bringing it on to oh actually yeah i just wanted to do two quick announcements behind this so if you want to see this meeting um you know, some of the behind the scenes footage. I actually am going to go over that. Uh, I decided to, you know, I'll upload these sort of in real life behind the scenes things to Instagram, which is obviously just chart champions. I thought I'd create a TikTok. This is obviously going to be a serious TikTok, no sort of dance moves. <laughs> but uh, some people are saying this is a good platform for the, for the videos as well. So I created us a, a TikTok if you want to give us a follow and create, I'm sure not many, I'm sure not many of our followers have TikTok to be honest. But if you do, you can create an account and give us a follow on there. And also I'll do some on, on Instagram because the stories are really easy to, um, you know, give that behind the scenes footage and this will be used for more for the shorter videos. Uh, so yeah, those are two, just two quick announcements that I wanna do as we bring it back to the price action. So as I told you in this video, I am in a short position. What was this short position from? Well, really simply, we're gonna take our CC Fibonacci. Oh, this is what the guy told me this morning. Hey, I absolutely love your CC. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Yeah, this level's magical, of course. Uh, so the CC Fibonacci from the high down to the low of our range, and we can see we came up right, right, right into the top of the CC there at 9.30 a.m. today. Okay, so we came right into that level, which was naturally, of course, onto our point of control of this range. Okay, when we look, this is our TPO charts. I've already merged the profiles for you. But we come up into the CC onto the point of control for this like really nice confluence naturally of a, of a short position. And you also had the nice swing failure pattern of the past high. Okay, again, this is on a lower term time frame. Look at this one, like a one, two, three minute chart. You can see you cut, took the high onto the top of the CC, you know, naturally giving another nice short position. We've already dropped over one, uh, over 1%. I personally have already hit the take profit one of this short. You might be wondering what was the take profit uh, on this. And for me, it was really simply coming back down below the last prior low. For me, this was enough. Obviously, we're down lower, but that doesn't bother me. But I done my first take profit on this candle. OK, after I saw it come down, take the low and get back above. I was like, hey, this is enough for me for the take profit one. It was about a one percent move to the downside. Uh, obviously, we are a bit lower. Hey, I could have made more, but that's not the aim of the game. You know, it's like I was saying here, actually, uh, to the group. Um, a trader looks for consistency. A gambler, gambler looks for quick, quick, 
<laughs> wow, what a mess of that. A gambler looks for consistency. <laughs> oh my God, what a mess I'm making of this. A trader looks for consistency. A gambler looks for quick profits. Obviously referring to that high probability trade that we took earlier when we were up at that CC level. Okay, and something that is just really important to bear in mind here. Yes, we are going over the trades. I want to just emphasize that this is a small term time frame trade. This is for the traders on the one to five minute charts. This is a day trade off of the CC. It's not a high term time frame level that we're taking swing trades on. But if we can come in here every day, take one, two, three percent from the market, you know, these gains are compounding, compounding, compounding. And yes, 0.5 percent a day times 365, you're walking away, obviously, if you can compound this into extreme amounts of money. And I think that sometimes it feels like it's it's un unachievable, but it truly is achievable if you just can conquer the emotional aspect of trading, if you can conquer that psychological, emotional aspect of trading, it, it, it is possible, okay? And you don't need a 100% win rate for that, yeah? You can be doing this with a, you know, easily achievable with a 50, 60% win rate, where you're only winning just over half the amount of trades. But because the winners are much bigger than the smallest, you don't need these extremely high win rates, although absolutely possible <laughs> if, if you follow our levels. Uh, but anyway, I digress on that. So that, that that's how I'm looking at this at the moment. So I told you, I'll give you the trade that I'm in right now, and that's of a short position, obviously hit take profit one. Um, am I expecting this to hold all day? No. Well, we actually have back into our local range. So if we can get through the CC, we're obviously going to be looking back up towards these highs. Uh, am, am I leaning bullish or bearish here at the moment? Um, I guess I'm just neutral trading the range, to be honest. I'm not neither leaning bullish or bearish. What would my preferred scenario be? Well, I suppose I would like... Uh, to be honest, to see another push upwards here. I would like to see this brain break range to the upside. Um, because for me, it offers a much easier positions here on the local term time frames. Um, so yeah, I, I would prefer, I would like to see a break to the upside, try and take some of these highs out. Okay, and then we'll go from there. Let's see if we if we can breach up towards $40,000. Um, but I suppose at the, at the moment, um, I'm just trading what I'm given. You know, I'd like to see a move up, but hey, I'm not going to trade what I'd like. I'm just going to trade what I'm given each time on a high probability trade. So we have the CC at the moment. If we can breach through that, yeah, we can look towards those highs 40K. If we breach through that, then we look towards our next level again. But unless we can do that, of course, this is our, our, our intraday level to be trading. But one thing to remember, we've already tested it once here on the daily, uh, you know, today more times we test this, the weaker it gets. That's just one thing to bear in mind. I would also prefer to see this push upwards here. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was a uh, video today that I felt was really, really, really important on a day that I just felt truly inspired and motivated to do this one to you. Um, yeah, if you ever see me walking around, come and say hello, because I, I, I would speak to anybody all day about trading. You know me, I I, I love it. So yeah, thank you for, for everything, all the support, all the love. Um, you know, you, you, you show me the love because I give you the best. And that is the, the levels and the technical analysis. And, you know, if you want to learn more, of course, we have a whole website dedicated to education, to improving and empowering you. So you can, yes, have those, you know, goals and achievements of financial freedom or just being free. So you're not stuck in this like nine to five gr grind, at least as a, your own trader, you can do it wherever you want, wherever you want. And that is, that's, that's freedom. And to be able to see people, you know, striving for this, some people having already achieved it, you know, it makes my day, you know, it really does. So if you want that, of course, we have the whole learning platform dedicated to you on this. Of course, we've already done two live streams today, one from <laughs> one five minute update, one hour long live update. So there's lots of content, lots of things for you to get stuck into. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, you know, give us a follow on the other social medias if you want to see the heart behind the scenes footage for being the number one volume trading team in the whole of buy but yes moving billions of us dollars that's crazy and um yeah hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope you've learned something from it i hope you can understand the absolute need and necessity and power of understanding you don't need massive volatility you don't need to aim for the moonshot if you can be given a sideways range which is just a one percent range there's money to be made there's you can you know you're, you're able to make money and this is actually our bread and butter this is what we love we don't need the massive volatility we just need this sideways price action and it's actually you know let's be honest not not difficult to trade as long as you have those skills behind you um, so yeah, don't, don't be put off by people saying this is choppy. This is boring. Wait for clarity, wait for the move. Um, you know, th there's no need to do any of those things. You know, I've, I've shown you today just on our latest move that, you know, 
the, 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 the technicals are very well respected. So, um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button. And, uh, you know, we'll be back in the next video to bring you even more brilliant technical analysis. So thank you ever so much from the bottom of my heart. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. I, I love you all, honestly. Like, Chart Champions family, I mean that so much. I, I love you. And uh, I just want to say thank you again. I, I, I just want to say thank you. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to end it and obviously say no financial advice. Understand the disclaimer. Um, you know, we're just here for the education. Thank you again. And goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>